In this video, I will share a guide on how to install Rampage Trainer in both GTA 5 Enhanced Edition and GTA 5 Legacy Edition. With Rampage Trainer, you can spawn every single car that is in the game. You can fly from the sky, run faster than the speed of light. In weapons, you can unlock all the weapons, get unlimited ammo, and even shoot explosive bullets. Not only that, you can change weather, set custom time, and even bring the Ice Age to the world. You can also switch players to different characters, and even play as NPCs from multiplayer mode. You can also build your own maps, buildings, game missions, and so much more, all in story mode. I will also share steps on how to change the default open buttons of Rampage Trainer for small keyboard users, and some troubleshooting tips to make your life easy. So welcome to GTA Wood. Leave a like, press the subscribe button, and let's begin. First, you need to open this page of Rampage Trainer. Now scroll down, and from your left side, you need to check which Rampage Trainer you need. If you want Rampage Trainer for GTA 5 Enhanced, you need to download the latest version from here. And just like that, if you have the Legacy Edition or the original version of the game, you need to download its latest version, which should be labeled as Legacy. I will also share a few more details later in this video, but a shout out to the modder for making this mods pack. To install Rampage Trainer, you also need to download Scripthook V from this page. And I will also share one more very important mod later in this video. If you like, you can use these timestamps on your screen to skip to your favorite part of the video, or keep watching as you will learn a lot of new things. I will now share some quick installation steps for beginners. You can skip to the timestamps on your screen to watch the Legacy installation, as I will first share installation for GTA 5 Enhanced Edition. Here are the files I downloaded, and I have my game folder on my left. Here are the locations of game directory on PC. First, we will open the Rampage Trainer file, open it up, and from here you only need to select this first folder and this second file. Copy both files from here and paste them inside the game folder. Once that is done, you need to go back in downloads and open the script hook V folder, go to the bin folder, and from here you only need to select this last file and this second last file. Copy them both and paste them inside the game folder. Now there is one more important mod you need to install, but let me first share installation for the Legacy Edition. So just like before, here are the files I downloaded, and I have my game folder on my left. Here are the locations of game directory if you can't find it. First we will open the Rampage Trainer file, open it up, and from here you only need to select this first folder and this second file. Copy both files from here, and paste them inside the game folder. Once that is done, you need to go back in downloads and open the script hook v folder, go to the bin folder, and from here you only need to select this second last file, and this second file in the folder. Copy them both and paste them inside the game folder. Alright guys, once that is done, both GTA 5 Enhanced users and GTA 5 Legacy users will have to install one more important mod, and that is scripthookv.net, and you can watch this video on your screen to install this properly. Now if you like, you can skip to the timestamp on your screen to watch the final gameplay and troubleshooting tips, or keep watching, as I will now share steps on how to change the default open button of Rampage Trainer. First you need to open your game folder. I will be using the GTA 5 Enhanced game, but you can also follow the same steps for GTA 5 Legacy, which is the original game. Once you are here in the folder, you need to scroll down and look for this Rampage Trainer folder. Once you find this folder, open it up. You should have this very last settings file. Open this file using Notepad. Once Notepad is opened, we will scroll down to the bottom of it, and you need to look for this keys section of code. To change the open button, we will change this number from here. By default, this number stands for F5, and to change the default button, you need to open this webpage from the video description. Once you are here, you need to scroll down and look for the virtual key codes with decimal value section. Click on the Show More button to open the full table. The middle column is the decimal value number, and the third column shows the button name. We will now scroll down and look for the number we saw on Notepad, and it was 116. So here is the number, and as you can see, it's the F5 button on the keyboard. Also guys, if you are on Legacy or using an older version of Rampage Trainer, then your default open button and its code might be different. But it doesn't matter, because we will select a new button from here, so let's scroll up and look for a more easy button. So mostly I go with this O button, just because it is used less often in the game, and not many mods use this button. Let's copy its code. Remember guys, you can go with any button you like, and all you have to do is copy its code from the middle column. Now we are back on our notepad. You need to select and delete the old button code, and replace it with the new button code. After you do that, click on File from the top, and Save Changes. Alright guys, it's time to play the game with Rampage Trainer. When you first open the game, it should show this basic buttons pattern, so feel free to take a screenshot of it using your phone. Hit Enter to close this window, and hit Enter again to accept the terms of the mod. To open the trainer on a large keyboard, 
press the F5 button, or if you followed this video button customization, press the O button on the keyboard. If you have set a different button, just press that button once. This will open up the menu of Rampage Trainer. To go up and down in the menu, you just need to use normal arrow buttons on the keyboard, and you can use the Enter button to select, and the Backspace button to go back in the menu, or to close the menu. You can start enjoying the game with cool features, and if you are facing any kind of error, you can now click on the video on your screen and watch my complete troubleshooting guide on Rampage Trainer. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and join membership to support this channel and unlock premium videos.